Hello all you Guitars for Vet students out there. I've been asked to document something that we use at the, at the, uh, with the G4V locally uh, as we're trying to uh, teach veterans how to learn to play guitar. We try not to teach them how to play the guitar, we teach them the process of learning how to learn the guitar. And one of the techniques we use is the little acronym TEASE, T-E-A-S-E. And when you make a guitar chord, what you find is it doesn't always sound quite right. You know, it's muffled or you're on the wrong string or your finger's not holding the, the string down properly or it's really hard to make the chord. Well, by using T's, you can by yourself figure out what you're doing wrong. And let me go through this for you real quick. The first thing we use is the thumb. That's the T in T's. And basically the thumb should be connected on the back of the neck, kind of in the middle, most of the time. And what that does is it gives you a good place to hold the guitar and squeeze it. So if I was to rotate it up, you can see where the guitar is, where the neck is, and I can squeeze against each other, okay? So the thumb is very important. If the thumb is too high, then it makes it hard to reach chords that are wider chords, okay? Or chords that are down here. Notice my thumb when I make an F chord, okay, or a B chord, my thumb kind of disappears because my hand just naturally rolls back that way. So whenever possible, start all chords with your thumb somewhere in the middle of the neck. Just think of a train track and your thumb is connected with about this part here of your thumb. So that's the thumb. That's the first thing we do. Now so my finger's way out of position. That's because it can be, because my hand fits this particular guitar. If it was wider, I would have to have that finger back farther, that thumb back, to make the chord. So that's, that's the T, or thumb. The second thing is E, and E is elbow. Where is your elbow? Your, your arm should always be as relaxed as possible. You can't play the guitar and be tensed up for hours and hours with your hand or your arm. So basically, when you make a chord, let's just pick a, pick a, uh, pick a chord like A, okay? And if you notice my arm, because the way the guitar is, is pretty much kind of out a little bit. If I swing my elbow out, notice it actually moves my fingers kind of out of the way and lets me come in more perpendicular to the neck. That allows these fingers to be pushed against the strings without this part of the finger accidentally touching the wrong string. And it also allows this little pinky finger here to stay out of the way too. So the elbow is very important. When I make an A chord, notice I tuck my elbow in. When I make a C chord, it's pretty well must hanging. A G chord, my elbow goes out. F chord, it tucks in. It tucks in because an F chord requires your fingers to kind of be laying down at an angle. Okay? So A, B, C, D, E, F, so notice, if you looked at my elbow, we'll do it again. Watch what the elbow is doing. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And as I go up the scale, I kind of tuck my finger in, even my, my elbow even closer to my body. Or sometimes I have to push the guitar out. So that's T and E. The next one is A. And A, as you, if you notice right now, the guitar is kind of at an angle. Okay. So get, some guys play their guitar down here like this, but notice my arm, because it's shorter, I have to really stretch that. So if I just bring the angle of the guitar up a little bit, my arm is now in much more of a relaxed position. The angle of the guitar neck can affect how you play a chord. And if you look, if I just move my finger, excuse me, if I just move the angle down, I can actually, it actually helps me get my ring finger and my pinky finger closer to the neck without having to reach as far. So the angle up and down is very important. The last thing, in, uh, the next last thing is S, which is squeeze. Everybody talks about when I play the guitar, I really have to squeeze real, real hard. And my thumb gets war, my fingers gets war. Well, let me show you something. I'm making a D chord, right? And I'm squeezing and I'm squeezing and wait, I'm not squeezing at all. Well, how's that possible? You just told me you had to squeeze real hard to make the chord. Well, that's because I cheat, and I use this muscle and this arm 
to squeeze the guitar. And when I squeeze the guitar, it pushes the neck forward like this into my fingers. So I'm using this muscle over here, which isn't doing anything, to, to use a lever and leverage this guitar into my finger. So I can play chords with, not, with my finger, not even touching. Hello, hello, because I'm doing all the squeezing right here. And then E, T-E-A-S-E, -E, is do everything again. So if you make a chord, oh wait, what's wrong there? Well, that last string right down here is being touched by the meaty part of my ring finger. So let me see, move my thumb. Oh, that fixed it. Well, let's make a C chord. Okay, that's not working. Let's trade the angle. Yeah, by lowering my guitar, I was able to get the string to ring out better. So, so by using a combination of these te techniques, T-E-A-S-E, -E, thumb, elbow, angle, squeeze, and do everything again, you can figure out what you're doing wrong. And again, play one string at a time, figure out which string is making the, the funky sound, and eliminate it, okay? Again, I hope everybody uh, enjoys this. It's just a little thing that we use with our guys. It allows them to go back and practice on their own and kind of figure out the best way to learn a guitar. And also, everybody's different and guitars are all different. So it helps you become one with your guitar. Thanks, guys, and thanks to everybody who donates and helps and supports Guitars for Vets. We'll be seeing you.